Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. I am Fredicia Leibert. After earning two silver medals at the Special Olympics, North America Tennis and Pickleball Championship held in South Carolina from October 12th through 14th, Special Olympian Shakia Stapleton and his coach Derek Good were officially welcomed back to Nevis on Tuesday, October 24th. Minister of Sports, the Honorable Troy Liburd, congratulated Stapleton on his continued exceptional performances at international sporting events and wished him well going forward. I'm very happy this morning to welcome Shakir officially back to Nevis after his um, success at the recently concluded um, Special Olympics tournament there in the United States. Shakir, as I think um, all of us would be aware, is quite the superstar on the Special Olympic circuit. Um, this, of course, is not his first foray into the open world, and he has been doing well over the years, and we want to congratulate him and continue to encourage him to represent the Federation uh, to the best of his ability and also to go out there and do the best for himself. The Ministry of Sports, of course, we support you in every way and we want to support all of our athletes and all of our Special Olympians. You know, it feels really, really good to know that somebody from here on Nevis can go out there in the, in the outer world and excel. And you have done that over the years in this tournament. You have come back with two silver medals. And I think that is something that we can all be very proud of. So we are very, very proud of your achievements. Recognizing Stapleton as someone who is able to persevere and excel despite personal difficulties, the Minister of Sports hailed the Special Olympian as a role model for local youth. Of course, Shakir would be a role model to other young persons growing up in Nevis and in the Federation. He's somebody who they can look up to and try to emulate. And of course we know that um, there are some of us who have uh, various challenges and so on. And I think Shakir is an example of somebody who is putting in the work, who shows perseverance, and who has that ability to rise above any challenge and I think that is a very inspirational story that all of us here in St. Kitts and Nevis can benefit from. Special thanks were expressed to coach Wayne Tyson as well as the Four Seasons Resort Nevis for assisting Stapleton as he trained for the tournament. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education Kevin Barrett and Director of the Department of Sports Jamia Claxton were also present. Residents of the St. John's community were able to benefit from a free health screening on Wednesday, October 25th at the Brown Hill Community Center. The clinic was hosted by SKN Moves Nevis Chapter in collaboration with the Taiwan ICDF, the Ministry of Health, and Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley. Uh, this is an effort to get our community involved in knowing their status, checking their health, blood pressure, uh, checking their uh, sugar levels, diabetes levels, uh, glucose levels, I think that's urine, the appropriate yeah. language, urine, uh, getting breast exams, doing all that is necessary to ensure that our people remain healthy. We know on the island we suffer desperately with non-communicable diseases, diabetes, obesity, uh, and all the difficulties that those lead to, uh, including kidney failure, the need for dialysis, and all of those difficulties. So we're trying our very best to educate our population and to get our population involved, uh, to talk about diet, to talk about exercise, and to talk about doing the right things. So today we're in Brown Hill. We're gonna be doing these all across Nevis, and we're hopeful that people will come out and take advantage of this opportunity. And I'm told we're also serving breakfast. So you have an opportunity to come, uh, get tested, get something to eat, and then be on your way. Wednesday's clinic was one in a series of free health screenings that are being hosted in celebration of SKN Moves Nevis Chapter 5th Annual Walk. 
October the 7th, we celebrated our fifth anniversary walk with SKN Moves, its signature walk. And as part of the anniversary celebrations, we're doing activities throughout the month of October. Today, we had the premiere open the uh, Brown Hill Health Screening for constituency number one. And tomorrow, we are over at Cotton Ground, and we're also at the Anglican Church on Friday. Minister Bran will also be leading that session. So, come on out. It's free. Breakfast is, or I should say, early lunches are provided, and uh, know your numbers. Coordinator of SKN Moves, Nevis Chapter, Sheila James. Business and Professional Women, BPW, Nevis, has launched a project dubbed Grow and Glow, designed to contribute to the development of girls on the island and add value to their lives. Dr. Judy Nisbet, Second Vice President of Business and Professional Women, Nevis, gave an overview of the project when it was launched on October 14th. We are ecstatic to launch this bold initiative, which aims to empower young girls with key life skills, which will help them to grow and glow in our society. Our intention is to engage a cohort of girls 10 to 14 years over a 12-month period annually. Participants will be exposed to various topics, such as financial literacy, health and wellness, including mental health, very important, and other non-communicable diseases, etiquette, communication, bullying, developing your brand, and navigating the digital world, field trips, fun activities, and other opportunities to enhance their social skills will also be included. One of the major aims of BPW International is to encourage and support women and girls to develop their professional and leadership potential. Catherine Fobbs, president of BPW Nevis, noted that the launch followed the celebration of International Day of the Girl Child on October 11th under the theme, Invest in Girls' Rights, Our Leadership, Our Well-Being. BPW Nevis powered by the First Federal Credit Union, is proud to launch its Grow and Glow program. We are committed to investing financial, social, and psychological resources in our girls so that they may feel empowered to not only take charge of their lives, but to be in a better position to assume leadership leadership roles and ultimately shape the future of our island paradise the region and the world i want to encourage you the sensational 24 who are selected to be the first cohort to grasp every opportunity that will be afforded to you from being a part of this program it is our hope that your time with us will be most memorable and cherished for years to come. Girls, learn as much as you can, have fun, form lasting bonds of friendship, and as the name of the program suggests, simply grow and glow. The ceremony was chaired by Nadine Carty, Secretary of BPW Nevis. It also included the feature address by Chantal Miller, founder of Island Girls Rock, and remarks by Marquisa O'Loughlin, Business Development Manager at First Federal Cooperative Credit Union, the project's sponsor. The Department of Gender Affairs Boys Mentorship Program held its end-of-year ceremony on Thursday, October 19, 2023 at Lime Beach Bar. Assistant Secretary Latoya Jeffers, who was present at the ceremony, delivered brief remarks. The introduction of this program one year ago was quite significant for the Department of Gender Affairs. Among other things, it is aimed at strengthening the decision-making of our boys and their goal-setting skills. I must say congratulations to the Boys Mentorship Program on this achievement. 
We have to empower our boys to ensure that we have men who will become responsible citizens and contribute positively to our society. The program is completing its pilot phase, and I must express sincere gratitude to Nevis International Secondary School for partnering with the Gender Affairs Department as the pilot school for this program. Jeffers also expressed gratitude to the Bank of New Innovation, Bonnie, for supporting the program and other initiatives hosted by the Department of Gender Affairs. She also thanked the staff at the department for hosting the program. The program saw participation from a total of eight boys, namely Ricardo Byron, DeAndre Daniel, Jaheem Beaton, Azari Hanley, Najib Kelly, Tyreek Gaskin, Dwayne Hicks, and Carano Pierre. They received certificates of completion and prizes, which were presented to them by Assistant Secretary Jeffers. I would like to say thank you guys for this excellent experience. I've grown as a person through this, through this journey. And I would like to also thank Mr. Hanley for always being there for me and giving me guidance, especially when through the CHC time. So I would like to say thank you very much, Mr. Hanley. I would like to say thank you to Mr. Brown for taking me in as his mentee. Since I have met him, he has been there, has helped me out with everything since I have started. I have not really had the chance to go to all these camps and everything due to me having to travel for surgery processes and everything. But through all of what was happening, he stood by my side and talked me through it. I would like to say thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Interim Chief Executive Officer at Bonnie, James Simpson, praised the mentorship program and committed the support of the bank for the continuation of the program. The Boys Mentorship Program, which was launched on October 18, 2022, is grounded on five pillar mentor-mentee relationships, skills training, job attachment, community service, and scholarship opportunities. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.